Hello, welcome to Moo Moo Math, where we upload a new math video every day. In this video, I'd like to talk about finding the surface area and the volume of a trapezoidal prism. And the reason why this prism is a trapezoidal prism is that it has two bases that are trapezoids. Okay? Now, the volume formula, and you, you will use this formula in finding both the volume and the surface area, is equal to one-half the height of the trapezoid times base 1, and we'll call this base 1, doesn't really matter which one it is, plus base 2, because you know with a trapezoid, they are different uh, distances, excuse me, different lengths, times the height of the actual prism. And the height is the distance between these two bases. And uh, that would be the height of the prism, and I'm going to have that as a capital H. So now all we need to do is to start plugging in numbers. We have volume equals one-half the height of the trapezoid. And remember, the height is a perpendicular line to the two bases. This would be a 90 degree, and it is given, that is 2, times base 1, which is 3.5, plus the second base, which is 6, okay? And then it's going to be times the actual height, and that is given as 4, okay? Now when I do a little bit of math, um, 1 half, uh, first let's go 3.5 point plus 6.5 is 9.5. And then if you multiply that by 2, that is equal to 19. And then half of 19 is what? Uh, 9.5 times 4 and 9 times 4, excuse me, 9.5 times 4 is 38 units cubed. So let me re quickly recap what we did. We took the height, which was 2, base 1, plus base 2, which is 6, times the height, 1 half, times 2, times 3.5 plus 6 is equal to 9.5 times 2, which is equal to 19. Half of 19 is 9.5 times 4 is 38 unit cubed. Remember, volume is always in units cubed. Now let's go ahead and find the surface area. And the surface area is kind of uh, two parts. You first find the lateral area by taking the perimeter times the height times the height of the prism plus uh, two base areas. And the formula for base area is one half times the height of the pyramid times base 1 plus base 2 times the trapezoidal height. So let's go ahead and start with the lateral area. So the first thing we need to do is find the perimeter, and that is given. So the perimeter will equal to 2.5 plus 3.5 plus 2.5 plus 6. And then after we add these together, we're going to multiply that times the actual height of the prism, which is the distance between the two bases, which is given, and that's 4. So when we add 2.5, 3.5, 2.5, and then also 6, that gives us 14.5 uh, times 4, which is the height of the prism, and that equals 48. And so that is one half of our total surface area. That's the lateral area. So now we need to find the area of the basis. And that is equal to the use of formula 1 half times the height of the actual trapezoid, which is a trapezoid base, times the base 1 plus base 2. Okay, so now I'll fi fill in the numbers. So we have 1 half the height, and that is given. That's this perpendicular line, and we talked about that when we were finding volume. That is 2 times base 1, which is 3.5, plus base 2, because you know the trapezoid, the two bases are different lengths, okay? And then when I multiply 2 times 6 plus 3.5 is 9.5, times 2 is equal to 19, divided by 2 equals um, 9.5. 
0.5. But then I need to multiply those. I need to add two of these because we have two bases. So I'll go 9.5 plus, or it can be times 2, is equal to, uh, let's see, that is 19. So the area of one base was uh, 9.5, but we have two bases, so we're going to add two of those together, or you can multiply it by two, and that equals 19. So now let's just add these two together. We have a lateral area of 58, two base areas of 19. Add those two together, and that gives you 77 units squared. Hope this helped with finding the surface area and volume of trapezoidal oil. Prism, Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day. Please subscribe and share.